It's funny, you know, so many different countries speak English, but we all use different phrases and words to say the same thing. Or sometimes the same words and phrases mean different things in different countries. About a year ago, I made a video called Australian English, where I made a short list of these words. And I still get comments on that video like every day from people saying, you forgot this or what about that? So consider this like a part two of that Australian English video. Let's get right into it. Let's start with thong. Now I get that in America and probably other places, a thong is one of these. But in Australia, we call that a G-string. And a thong in Australia is actually what you call a flip-flop, which I'm sure causes a little bit of awkward embarrassment with tourists. Another one that can be awkward is rubber. Mm -hmm. It's a condom, right? Well, in Australia, a rubber is actually an eraser for a pencil. And then there's jocks, right? A jock is what, like a hunky dude? Well, in Australia, jocks are what we call our underwear. This one's funny for us. The word fanny. Okay, so in America, I understand that a fanny is a bum, an ass, right? Well, in Australia, the fanny is the ladies' bits. <laughs> so I don't know how that got turned around. But um, when I was growing up, that sitcom, The Nanny, she was out on her fanny. always made me and my friends laugh so hard we thought it was, I can't believe they're saying fanny on TV. <laughs> okay, now this one confuses me all the time. In Australia, we call these chips and these chips. Now, I get that in America, you call these chips and in England, they call these crisps. Yet they still call these chips, but in America you call those fries. Okay, my brain's starting to hurt already. And what about what you put on them? Ketchup, okay? Well, we call that tomato sauce. Well, we used to call it tomato sauce. This one's confusing. When I was growing up, we didn't have ketchup. But now, when you go to the supermarket, or grocery store as you might call it, we can buy tomato sauce or ketchup which I still think is the same thing, so it's starting to get confusing. Okay, here's another one. How about the sidewalk? Sidewalk is what you call it in America. We call it a footpath, and in England, they call that a pavement, I think. Vacation, you know, you say you're gonna go on vacation. We call that holiday. We just go on holiday. A cell phone, we call a mobile, or a mobile phone, not mobile. Mobile. Faucet? Now, from what I can make out, this is what Americans call a faucet, which we call a tap. We put petrol in our car, or sometimes I guess we call it fuel. In America, they call it gas. I don't know what they call it in England. I guess they call it petrol as well. Now, this is an interesting one, an elevator. Okay, now, I'm guessing most places in the world call this an elevator. In Australia, Old people call it a lift, but young people call it an elevator, yet everyone knows what everybody means. I guess it's one of those things where our language is developing, probably from like American movies and TV, like the influence of the American language, I'm thinking. Here's another one that confuses me. We call this a garbage bin. I understand in America you call that a trash can. In England, rubbish. English people say rubbish, so I guess rubbish bin? I don't know. Trash, garbage, rubbish. It's all the same thing, but why do we all say different things for the same thing? Like the undesirable people around us. We all have them, doesn't matter where we live. In America, I guess you call them rednecks. We call them bogans. In, a, in England, I've heard the term chav... And I've also heard the term scally, I think. So I don't know if a scally and a chav is the same thing or a different thing. Obviously, I could go on all day, but why should I have all the fun? Why don't you leave a comment and tell me some of the ones that you've noticed over the years and uh, we'll get a whole list going in the comment section. Have a great day. Okay, bye.